My name is Patrick Dengler and this is Blur. I'm producing this video because I've been at this for a little over a year and a half and it, I've realized it's gotten a lot bigger than me. Uh, Blur started as a Steam game submission for Valve of a world defense where you play a tower defense game anywhere in the earth and it uses the existing uh, maps in the world and geo positions in order for you to set up uh, defenses. What it is now, though, what it's evolved to, has done some come from some research I did about creating great applications and then complementing them with uh, companion apps on the mobile device. And this was missing something for me. So what I created was Blur, which is a cross-platform um, component that enables a user to get into the game. And I'm only showing you a couple features because there's only a, there's only a one way to show you, and that's a little bit at a time. Um, what I'm doing here is essentially just as I would at runtime, I'm showing you how at design time, I'll take uh, assets from NASA, from different, everywhere around the world. In fact, Google has a lot of data. And I can lift coordinates, for example, and then figure out the mesh map, and then actually lift other uh, buildings from them, and, and put them into the world so you could travel across them or walk around them. Um, and then uh, what, what I'm gonna what, what's what's happening here now is I wrote a little new version of the world the tower defense game in 3D and I'm playing it from the desktop or an Xbox whatever you would like to do and the idea is to get blurred so I will take my mobile device which is connected to this game or any other game that might be playing in the area and I'm going to take it outside and if you can see on the screen there it's difficult but then the little guy in the center it tracks my movement I use uh, a, what I call a quadrangulation of GPS of particular satellite picking uh, accelerometers and compasses and all this different data to figure out exactly where you are in this game and then I transfer that to the mobile device and you become part of the game so as I move from this game and that tower defense is being played at my home I run out to the garage to see what type of what, what what's going on in the game and as you'll see the game that was playing on the desktop is the same game that's playing in my yard and I can see the different uh, characters walking up the monsters are talking attacking uh, my place and I can also see the towers I've put up to defend them and all of the particle particle effects and sounds and all this stuff happens and it's not just one player many players can play at a given time but the significant difference that I bring into this game is something that I think is unique and that is the ability to transfer a real-world object into the game and I do this for many different technologies but in this case I'm going to scan my car and I'm going to lift that image by running a bunch of heuristics over the top of it figuring out that there is an object there cropping it sending it off to Google image search figuring out that it's a VW bug and then taking the paint from it extracting it applying it to the texture and putting it on the model and in this case it becomes a real car in the game and I do that by setting up a library of existing models and contextual uh, clues to those models so whether it's a, a car or a soda pop bottle that can burst or a gun or whatever you want to put in there. Um, the number of scenarios here are actually quite amazing. And here you can see I'm back in the game with the bug and the car can drive around. Very exciting stuff. Um, the, the Blur technology has been in development for 18 months now. I have well over 1,700 check-ins on it. Um, there's plenty of opportunities for different scenarios here, whether it's an advertiser that wants to create a halftime show, uh, or somebody wants to create or play a live game of hide-and-seek with one of their grandchildren thousands of miles away, or perhaps you just want to get into the game, or maybe you're playing that Farmville and you need that other piece of corn or tomatoes, just scan it in, pop it into the game. Uh, it's just a tremendous piece of technology, again, cross-platform. And the primary reason I'm surfacing this now is, again, it has gotten too big for me. Uh, I had the pleasure of working 20 years at Microsoft to build a tremendous amount of technology. But in this case, this is my passion. When I was a kid sitting in front of the Apple computer, all I could figure about was how could I get in that game. And now I'm getting in, but it's obviously too big for one person. So as I actively produce this, I'm looking for... Uh, anybody who's interested in joining this, uh, this effort. Uh, thanks for your time. I appreciate you watching.